Hello there, how are you? I hope you are doing great. So in this lecture, I shall be explaining some a mathematical exercise about law of conservation. So in my previous classes, I already uploaded the law of conservations and also the backward velocity of gun. So I tried to write some sort of examples uh, to upload this class. I shall be explaining on how we will do some mathematics on the basis of law of conservation and also how to do some mathematics which is related with guns and bullets and if very specifically the question is about the backward velocity so those are english version students and studying ssc level physics and also those are o level students that might have some experiences with this type of problems which is related with chapter unit 2 chapter 1 is motion and also in physics there is a chapter motion where i already uploaded a series of lectures so this one is all about the mathematical exercise so if we just think previously what we uh, discussed earlier about the laws of conservation we got an equation which is actually that m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and we already proved in my previous class we already proved that how we got these equations and how we deduce these equations from the newton's third law we know that each and every actions has its equal and opposite reactions from that point of view we deduced these equations but there are some things that we need to focus about specific questions like if the set is combined what was the inside of the questions inside of the equations if two bodies meet each other and then they're moving in different directions in different velocity then we need to consider the final velocity of two different things v1 and v2 but if the question is like that that a body of mass is given 4 kg so a body having a mass of 4 kg is moving with a velocity of 12 meter per second it's moving and then it meets another body of mass which has 6 kg coming from simply the opposite side with the velocity of another which is 4 meter per second so we can have idea that there are four different data is given on the questions and the finally it was asked that n becomes a single body it means two body is like coming like this and then it becomes single body it can move from this way or even this way it didn't say that they just coming like this and then tapash. no it was saying it becomes a single body so if a single body then it what will be the future and what will be the destination of this single body and it was the questions then what will be the velocity what will be the velocity so it was asked to find out v of the combined body we took v1 and v2 when there is two different body but here it becomes a single body when it becomes a single body we need to know what was the given so what is the given data so it's given there is a mass of the first one which is m1 so it's given 4 kg and then u1 which is 12 meter per second m2 is actually 6 kg and u2 here is a important thing here is very important thing for you you please keep focus on that one, one thing, when there is a road and something is moving in this world, suppose this is west and this is east, hmm. this is west and this is east, suppose. So this body is P is moving westwards, okay, and something from other side is moving in this way. So as the velocity is a vector quantity, it means that it has a magnitude and also it has a direction so if we consider this p to westwards the velocity is plus 
we must consider the velocity of q q on the opposite side this would be minus and this is important because magnitude and also direction is important in case of vector quantity and as velocity is a vector quantity we need to count this one as minus value so and then what was the scenario suddenly they meet each other and it becomes a single body so from that purpose after when they become single body they can move in this way and then they can also move in this way it's totally depending on the momentum so now we need to find out the momentum after the collision after when they meet each other how come now we need to use this one m1 e1 plus m2 so if we just make it apart and then m2 u2 now we don't need to keep this one as v1 and v2 why because it said it's become single body so we can say that m1 plus m2 it's a single body velocity okay so i didn't write that m1 v1 m2 v2 because there is no they didn't go in a different velocity they went into the single body and they have the similar a same velocity and then it was asked to find out here so here i didn't put the value of u2 because this magnitude of 4 meter per second it should be minus so it should be minus so if it is minus and if i ask to find out the velocity of v so you put it down here v is equal to what so this one would go this one this way so it would be m1 e1 plus m2 u2 it would be m1 plus m2 and then we will just put the data m1 is 4 kg times u1 is 12 important and now this plus m2 is 6 kg and then this 4 meter per second would be minus so it will be minus 4 and then we will add the mass of two different bodies like 4 kg and 6 kg so it would be like that and then what would be the result this is 48 and this would be minus 24 over 10 and then if I divide 24 over 10 then we will have 2.4 meter per second and most interestingly most interestingly we found the data we found the magnitude of the velocity of the combined body in positive so if it's positive then it says an interesting thing that after when they combined together they went through in this way two westwards because we kept we consider the velocities plus of p two westwards but if the question came to minus then we could think that this after they becomes the single body they will move keep waves on this way but it was not the same scenario the questions the answer came in positive mood it means that it will go to westwards though it's not written here westwards or eastwards i just give an example that when you consider a body is moving in a directions which is positive and somebody is coming from the opposite directions the velocity the magnitude of the velocity should be minus and then we put it minus and then we got it minus 24 so we got 48 minus 24 over 24 and then we got the result in positive way so it means we can conclude that the body after combined they will go to the directions where it was considered as a positive so this is the answer so what will be the velocity of the common body the velocity of the common body will be 2.4 meter per second okay so if you understand this one you can go to the next level so I raise it if you understand and then the questions about guns and bullets well so if it's a guns 
So if it's a gun and it moves like this way and there is a bullet and when a bullet going through in this direction we know that there is a momentum which is already created in the front line and then there will be a backward movement of the gun and this question is all about that what is the backward velocity of the gun so if you got this type of questions you must consider one thing that the before shot was shot before shot both the initial velocity of guns and bullet was zero so if it is zero as we know from the velocity i mean the law of conservation that m1 e1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 we know the initial velocity of guns and bullets were zero so whole quantity would be zero and we know that I already explained about the backward velocity of guns and I have uploaded a class on that. So on that class I already explained that why we need to think in this way because the initial velocity is zero so all over the quantity would be zero. So here we can find this one as like this mv is equal to zero because why we, we consider this capital M as the mass of the gun we consider capital V as the velocity of the gun this small m is the mass of the bullet and also this V is the velocity of the bullet so we have been asked to find out the backward velocity of the gun so it would be like that V is equal to minus small mv over capital M and now we need to know how to use this data is given 10 gram we can't use the unit of mass as gram in this type of calculations so we need to consider that kg so when there is a gun is given as a gram so we need to consider this one as kg so we know what's given on it's given on that this m is 10 gram so if we divide by 1000 we can have 0.01 kg smaller and it was shot from a rifle with a velocity of 1 km per second so it was given the velocity of the bullet but we know that we need to consider the unit of any velocity as meter per second so we can think that this v is 1 km means 1000 meter per second and if this is true then there is another data is given that if the mass of the rifle is 2 kg find the backward velocity of the gun then we can consider this capital M as 2 kg if this data is given what is the value of the background velocity of guns and it's already minus so this minus expresses that the momentum of bullet was created in the front line and then the backward velocity would be definitely minus as it is plus and hence the same thing has been discussed in the first one that when we consider somebody's directions as well as it is a plus so the opposite direction would be definitely minus so here we can consider the value that small m is 0 0.01 times 1000 and then this is 2 then the velocity would be what? I mean it would be like 0 by 1 over 2, right? If I am not wrong, then we can... So 0 0.1... Oh sorry, 0 0.01 times 1000 over 2, which is 5? Okay, so this would be minus 5 meter per second. So, am I right in some cases? So if I divide this 10 over 1000, 0 0.01 yeah times 1000 over 2 yeah 5 so minus 5 meter per second so automatically the answer comes in minus so it means this minus velocity shows that the momentum of gun is backward and that's why the backward velocity already say so in terms of answering the questions we need to write as the velocity of the gun was minus 5 meter per second or even you can say the backward velocity of the gun is 5 meter per second because the word itself expresses the velocity would be minus 
So when you say the backward velocity, if we write in the answer sheet the backward velocity of the gun is 5 meter per second is correct or even we write that the velocity of the gun after shot is minus 5 meter per second it means it was backward. So this is the explanation very shortly about the questions and then we will do some sort of series level of mathematical problem solutions on the next class and definitely this is from my consideration is a level one type of solutions we could have a level two and level three on the next next videos so keep studying well and do your study well and do let me know what is the requirement for so that i can consider this from the next videos so see you take care